Can we just take a moment to admire how beautiful this map looks? <laughs> but on a serious note, today's video is going to showcase some lineups that I found for this map that you guys can use in your games. Now, I usually do post shorts showcasing my lineups, but I thought that since this is a new map, that I would just bring out a whole video showing you guys what I found for this map and give you guys a little bit of a starting point on Brim lineups for this map. Now, if you have any questions about any certain lineups that you see in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if I didn't cover every plant spot that is optimal, let me know as well and I will be sure to find one for that spot and bring you guys a short dedicated to that spot. But anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we're going to start off here on A, and this first molly is going to cover this corner plant right here. After you plant spike, you're going to come over to this door, and then you want to push yourself against this left edge of it. And then you want to pay attention to this point on the roof here, and you want to also pay attention to this point here. You're going to have your crosshair right above this point, and you're going to aim up until it reaches the middle of this point here. And you want to have your crosshair lined up like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this molly, it'll take a bounce off of the ground before covering the bomb. This next molly is also for that corner plant, but this one's for more if you want to play a little closer to sight. We're just going to come over to elbow and you're going to wedge yourself into this corner right here. And then you're going to pay attention to this black line that's touching this wire right here. You're going to put the very left point of your health HUD on where that black line touches the wire like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, this one will also take a bounce off of the ground before covering the bomb. Don't let that little gap right there fool you, because this will actually still damage the enemy if they're standing in that corner. This next molly will cover the front of this box here, and I really like this plant, and I will tell you why in just a moment. And this is a fast molly that you can use. You're going to wedge yourself into this corner here, and then you're going to pay attention to where the bottom of this door meets the stairs right here. You're going to take the top right corner of the mouse hub box, and you're going to line it up with where the stairs meets the door on this corner, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, it'll bounce off the wall and land right on the box. And then as far as for why I like this plant, you can watch bomb from pretty much anywhere you want. You can watch it from here in main. You can watch it from here in elbow. Or you can even come over to CT and watch it from there too. This next molly will also cover the plant in front of the box. What you want to do for this one is you're going to push yourself against this archway right here. And then you want to pay attention to this plank that's holding the roof up. You're going to take the line that is in between your molly and your smoke icon and line up the left tip of it with the bottom tip of this plank like so. And then when you shoot this molly, it'll take a bounce off the ground before landing on the bomb. This last molly for A is for situations where you find that enemies are constantly flanking and you need a line out from CT. Here's one that you can do. You're going to plant on this corner behind the box. And then after you do that, you're going to make your way over to CT spawn. And you are going to wedge yourself into this corner right here. And then you want to pay attention to this part of the fence right here. You're going to take the very bottom of the outer triangle in your stim icon, and you want to line it up with that part of the fence, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this molly, it will travel over, bounce over the box, and land right on the corner with some pretty good coverage as well. And in terms of swinging for this, you can, of course, swing from CT, or if you really want to throw somebody off, you can swing from up here in main and catch anybody there. All right, let's move over to B. 
Okay, so moving over to B, this first molly is going to cover this Thanks plant here on the stairs. If bomb gets planted there, you are going to come over to bottom mid, and then you are going to wedge yourself into this corner, and then you're going to pay attention to this corner in the window. You're going to line up the tip of the line next to your health with the corner of the window, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this molly, it will travel over, bounce off of this wall, and land perfectly on the stairs. This molly is a pretty tough one to block. And as far as fighting it, you can come over to main and fight it from here. This next molly is going to cover if the bomb is planted on that corner. You are going to come over to mid, and then you are going to push up against this part of the wall. And then you're going to pay attention to this corner on the shader on this patio. You are going to take the top tip of your molly icon, and you're going to line it up with this corner, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, it will travel over and land perfectly on Spike. As far as fighting this one, you can fight it from either Market or you can come back to Main and fight it from here. These next two mollies are going to cover the very center of the pillar. For this first one, you are going to come over back to Lobby. You're going to wedge yourself into this corner on top of these plants. And then you're going to pay attention to this line here where it meets this edge. You're going to take the bottom line on your mouse hub box and line up the left tip of it with where this line meets the edge, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, it will travel over and land right on bomb. This next molly is also going to cover the center plant, and the result of this actually surprised me. You'll see in a moment what I mean. You're going to wedge yourself into this corner, and then you're going to pay attention to this corner of the leaf right here. You're going to take the top left corner of the mouse HUD box above your molly, and you're going to line it up with the corner of this leaf, like so. And then when you shoot this, it'll actually bounce off of a little ledge on the pillar like that and then drop down onto the bomb. Now, don't worry, I have shot this multiple times. It will always do that and it is consistent. These last three mollies are going to cover a plant on these boxes here. This first one, you don't have to go far at all. You're going to come over to market, push up against this wall and line yourself up to where the info booth touches that green part of the building. You don't have to be precise with that. And then you want to pay attention to where this line meets this part of the window here. You're just going to rest your crosshair on the tip of that line where it meets that part of the window. Like so. Molly. And when you shoot this, it will just bounce over onto the bomb very fast. This next molly will also cover a plant on those boxes. You are going to wedge yourself into this corner here in mid. And then you want to pay attention to the bottom right corner of this window here. You're going to take the top right corner of your mouse HUD box and line it up with that corner of the window, like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, it'll travel over, bounce off of the pillar, and land on bomb. This last molly is also going to cover the boxes plant here, but this is for situations where enemies are constantly flanking and you need a molly from the other side to try to throw them off. Here's one that you can do. You're going to come over to this part of the wall here and push up against it. And then you want to pay attention to where these two lines intersect. You're going to take the top tip of your molly icon and line it up with where those two lines intersect like so. Molly. And then when you shoot this, it'll travel over, bounce off of the pillar, and then land on bomb with pretty good coverage on it too. And then as for swinging for this, you could come down the stairs from market and fight from there. So that's going to wrap things up for Brim lineups on Sunset. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I hope you find these lineups useful. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. But on that note, that's going to do it for me. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.